Hey guys, YouTube World Editor here. Okay, and as promised, uh, in this video, I'm going to be giving uh, my uh, thoughts on the uh, Jurassic World live tour show. So yeah, so like I said, uh, I saw uh, this show um, earlier today. Yeah, like I said, uh, they're in town uh, all through this weekend. So yeah, so went to uh, see the show today. And you can see, even got my Jurassic Park shirt on for it. Yeah. And, yeah, and in this video, I'm just really going to uh, uh, give my thoughts on the show and how I really felt about it. All right. So, yeah, so um, this show has actually uh, been uh, going on for a few years. Like, it was first introduced back in 2019. But, yeah, but I hadn't actually really, like, a, he, um, heard about this show up until, like, when I, like, was hearing about the tour this year and that they were going to be coming here. Yeah. So, yeah, so going into it, like, I really didn't know anything about this show, what it really was going to be about. I didn't really know if, like, this really was actually going to be just like a, um, like a, a live stage performance of, like, a, the actual movie or not. Yeah, because I really haven't seen a whole lot of, a, of a stage shows before. Like, um, as a kid, like, I did, I did, like, uh, attend a couple of, uh, Disney on Ice shows, like, uh, when I was a little kid, I saw, um, Toy Story on Ice when I was, like, four years old, yeah, then, yeah, then I also saw, like, uh, Monsters, Inc. on Ice when I was only, like, when I was, like, 11 or 12 years old, yeah, and those are really, like, the only, like, uh, stage performances I have actually, like, seen based on movies, so, yeah, so, I really, like, wasn't exactly sure, like, what this, uh, show really was going to be about going into it, but, yeah, it sounded like a cool thing to see live, just, like, seeing the dinosaurs live, like, I thought that that would actually be pretty cool to see, so, yeah, so, I, uh, went to see this show today, and, yeah, and, uh, this was actually, um, my, uh, view of uh, the show today, I don't know how well you can see that, let's try to get to focus, yeah, this was, uh, my view of the show today, yeah, but yeah, so, yeah, I did have a pretty good view of, uh, the show today, and yeah, and overall, yeah, I really did enjoy this show, I actually did think that this was a pretty good, uh, live, uh, show, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, like, like I was just saying, like, I wasn't really sure, like, what this really was about. I didn't know if it really was actually going to just be, like, a um, stage uh, performance of the movie. Yeah. And it turns out that's not really what this show actually was. Yeah. This show, it is actually set after the events of the first Jurassic World movie. Yeah. What this uh, show really was about was, um, it's about, like, this um, other um, um, uh, Isla Nublar scientist is that, um, uh, like, creates, like, this, like, a device known as, uh, the, uh, Dino Decoder, which is, like, a, uh, central item for the plot, yeah? Yeah, and it shows how, like, uh, she's really trying to, uh, work on better understandings of thoughts, emotions, and feelings for dinosaurs, and so then, as she's, uh, studying this, uh, female, uh, Trodon, like, it shows how, like, the Trodon is, like, uh, like, uh, under eyes of, um, corrupt plans to weaponize, like, another in-gen facility in Chile, yeah? And so, yeah, so, in this, uh, show, um, the, um, the scientist really is, like, trying to just, uh, try to, um, save, uh, the, um, uh, the, um, the Trodon from, uh, all these experiments from InGen and stuff, and so, yeah, and that really is, like, what the show is really, like, a set around, yeah, so, yeah, so, like I said, like, I really did actually, like, really enjoy the show, like, like, it was cool to see, like, uh, the, all the dinosaurs in this, uh, show, actually, like, see dinosaurs in a, in a live show like this, yeah, like, uh, of course, like, it was really just, like, either, like, uh, people in suits or, um, animatronics, but, yeah, it was still cool to see them, um, in this show, yeah, I mean, yeah, because, yeah, after seeing Jurassic Park, like, the Jurassic Park movies, like, just so many times, particularly, like, uh, just the actual Jurassic Park movies, not the Jurassic World ones, but, yeah, seeing the Jurassic Park movies all these years, like, just seeing the dinosaurs, like, on screen, it was, 
like uh, seeing them actually like alive was actually uh, pretty cool. Well, yeah, and yeah, and like I said, I really did think that like uh, this really was a really good show, and it really did tell a really good story as like something as kind of like something that's not really like related to the plot of the movies, but yeah, still like was like still like. A different story that was like set around the animals and it doesn't really have like a actual connection with the movie yeah and i did think that this really and i really did enjoy the special like uh yeah you just like uh had like a lot of different dinosaurs in the special you did of course like have the trodon that like uh is like the main dinosaur of the show yeah and there were also like uh, dinosaurs like uh triceratops uh velociraptors hers um Stegosaurus, uh, Pteranodons, and of course, the T-Rex, yeah. The T-Rex was, this is probably like the dinosaur that really just everyone wants to see. And yeah, and they did, of course, include the uh, T-Rex uh, in uh, this uh, show, yeah. And he even had like a brief appearance of the uh, Indominus Rex like in the movie. And yeah, the Indominus Rex also did make an appearance in this movie as well, yeah. So, yeah, so, like I said, this movie, uh, well, not this movie, uh, this show, it doesn't really, like, follow them. It's not really, like, actual, like, an adaptation of the movie. So, yeah, so it doesn't really have, like, a, any of the characters from the actual movie in the show. It really is, like, a totally different uh, cast of characters. It shows, like, uh, like I said, there was, like, uh, the uh, new female scientist in this movie who was named uh, Dr. Kate Walker, yeah. And it shows how, like, she's uh, aligned with, like, some other people in this uh, show. It's like she has, like, this uh, member of the asset containment unit that's stationed at the enclosure for the Trudons at the uh, 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 park named Oscar. Yeah, and it shows how, like, they're also, like, uh, they're also aligned with some other people, such as uh, uh, this other uh, scientist for the... Uh, Park, uh, Dr. Martin Riley, as well as, like, uh, two interns named, uh, Chad and Allison, yeah, yeah, so, yes, yeah, so, yeah, so they really are, like, teamed up as, like, the, uh, protagonist for, um, this show, yeah, yeah, and in this show, like, um, the, um, the, uh, villain, uh, of, uh, this, um, show is, like, uh, like, um, the head of, uh, of a engine's a special ops named uh, Doctor uh, Kent Reeve. Eve, yeah, yeah, and yeah, and like I said, you just really have like a whole bunch of like the dinosaurs that I just mentioned a minute ago in this uh, uh, show. Yeah, so yeah, so and I really did like the story that the special told. It really did a good job of really telling the story of. Uh, Dr. Uh, Walker really just, like, trying to um, just uh, protect the uh, Trodon that she's studying, who's named Genie, yeah? So, yeah, so she's really just trying to protect Genie and save her from, like, all these, like, uh, experiments that Engin is really trying to conduct on her, yeah? And they just really go through, like, a whole lot of things, like, they, like, uh, end up, like, uh, uh, really, like, going up against a lot of the, uh, he, um, like, the uh, troops for InGen to really, like, uh, try to protect Genie f from them actually trying to capture her. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and, like, uh, in the special, you do have, like, some other stuff. Like, uh, the special does, like, open, showing, like, there are a couple of tourists just in a uh, gyrosphere that end up, like, uh, being approached by a uh, Genie at the start. And as a uh, Genie is, like, uh, kind of, like, a... Uh, uh, going up against uh, the tourist, that's when uh, Dr. Walker and uh, Oscar then, like, try, like, uh, intervene, and they end up, like, calming Genie down to let uh, the tourist leave. Yeah, and after, like, uh, they're able to uh, calm Genie down, down uh, like, before they can actually, like, uh, look, put a genie back to in her to her pen uh other members of the uh, ACU arrive under the uh, command of uh, uh Dr. Reeve yeah and as they were like uh, trying to capture genie like Kate and Oscar like are like they try to like stop the um other uh uh 
uh, members of the ACU from uh, capturing a genie, but then they're eventually like, uh, like they end up like, like being forced to just relinquish the situation to um, the uh, ACU, and then yeah, and then after like a. Uh, like, a genie was, like, uh, placed back in her pen. Like, uh, as Kate and Oscar, like, were trying to, like, uh, check on her, they end up being interrupted by uh, Dr. Riley, along with uh, the uh, two interns, Chad and Allison. And then, yeah, then it shows how, like, a, like a genie ended up, like, uh, being hooked up to um, one of the uh, devices that's known as the Dino Decoder, which is, like, a, a device that is actually able to, like, a, read basic emotions of dinosaurs. Yeah. And, yeah, then, like, it, it's, like, and it has, like, lights to indicate, like, the emotions for, um, like, uh, the uh, dinosaurs. And then they could tell, like, how, like, a, like, a gene he is, like, a, becoming nervous, yeah, and then, yeah, then, eventually, he, like, uh, it then shows, like, uh, the Indominus Rex then, like, uh, appearing, and then, like, uh, the group is in, like, uh, ends up being forced to evacuate, but Genie ended up being, uh, left behind, yeah, then, yeah, then, yeah, then, like, uh, it then, like, uh, uh, moves ahead to about, like, uh, three months later, yeah, and yeah, and it shows how like the group is like a continuing the research on the Dino Decoder. Like Kate, like is like a uh, trying to like a uh, get into contact with Indrin to learn what happened to Genie. But then yeah, then like uh, she ended up like uh, getting a reading from the Dino Decoder, or or from Genie. And then yeah, then she then learned that uh, Genie was alive. And then and. They, like, uh, discovered that she was actually in Chile, which is a hundred miles away from Isla Nublar. Yeah. 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 But then, yeah, then, uh, like, it's also, like, discovered that there's a military base in Chile where it shows where a genie and some other, like, uh, green velociraptors are. Yeah. And yeah, then, as a, uh, genie, you then, like, uh, well, as a uh, Kate and others then freed a genie from the compound, they then uh, ended up uh, returning back to Isla Nublar. But then, yeah, then they like uh, discovered a uh, genie's eggs. Eggs were still on the island, so as they were trying to find them, they ended up like uh, traveling to the adventure so zone, and they ended up like uh, finding a uh, nest. But then, um. Um, eventually, um, like, uh, um, there was, like, some other, uh, uh, velociraptors that were around there, and one of them was actually Blue, like, one of the velociraptors that was actually in the movie, so, yeah, so, Blue is really, like, the only, uh, character from the movie to actually be in, uh, this show, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, then, as a... Uh, a triceratops was then uh, confronting Allison, and with who had the eggs. Then um, Blue ended up like uh, uh, fighting with the triceratops, and like the gang was able to escape. And then, yeah, then as like they later on encountered uh, two stegosauruses, which was um, an adult and uh, like a um, a baby stegosaurus. Uh, they then like. Uh, like, uh, ended up, uh, being, um, uh, confronted by, uh, the mercenaries in Reeve once again, and as they were, like, uh, after, uh, Kate, Jeannie, and the others, then it showed, like, there was a flock of, uh, pteranodons that ended up attacking, and then one of the, um, um, like, uh, one of the, uh, antagonists, uh, forgot actually what, uh, his, uh, name was, but, uh, yeah, he ended up, like, being, uh, taken by, uh, one of the, um, pteranodons, and then, uh, and was flown away with it, yeah? Yeah, it makes me really wonder, like, uh, what they actually, where the guy actually did go that, like, got taken away by the, uh, uh, pteranodons. Like, obviously, like, the pteranodons were, like, uh, animatronics or whatever, but, yeah, it makes me, like, wonder, like, because they went, like, all the way up, so it really does make me kind of, like, uh, wonder exactly, um, 
like uh, where he was actually um, taken to to make sure that he was safe. And it kind of like, like as I was watching this, this like at the show, it really made me like kind of concerned for the guy's safety. Like it made me kind of worried, like if like the thing would have given out and the guy would have like fallen down to the ground and something could have happened to him. But yeah, luckily that did not happen. But yeah, still just watching that like had me like a little bit concerned. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but then, yeah, then eventually, then we had the appearance of the T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, the T-Rex then ended up, like, uh, appearing, and then, yeah, then, as, um, Kate was, uh, uh, ended up being, uh, being, uh, cornered by, uh, uh, Reeve, uh, the, uh, um, like, uh, uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied here. Yeah, uh, Morton then ended up like a saving uh, Kate and ended up by knocking uh, uh, Reeve off of a cliff. Yeah, then yeah, then like they ended then uh, after uh, Reeve ended up uh, like uh, going down a cliff. It was later revealed that like uh, he actually did survive because he fell on some trees. And then as like uh, he. Like, I confronted the group once again. The T-Rex then ended up actually appearing. Like, uh, before, like, what I was just talking about a minute ago, like, we just, like, heard the T-Rex, like, uh, roaring, but, like, the T-Rex didn't actually appear. But here, like, the T-Rex did actually, like, uh, appear. Like, yeah, the T-Rex then, like, as the mercenaries were, like, going at, were, like, uh, confronted, uh, um, Dr. Walker and uh, the rest of the uh, group again with the mercenaries. Then, yeah, the T Rex ended up like uh, uh, trying to, um, well, yeah, the uh, T Rex then appeared and the mercenaries like were trying to like uh, uh, hold it at bay by like a, like with some flamethrowers. But uh, Genie and Blue then like uh, stopped the flamethrowers and then the T Rex along with Blue eventually ended up like uh, chasing reeve off and then like show that his scream could be heard and then yeah then as the mercenaries then all then escaped then like it showed then like a genie's eggs hatching and then the there were like a two baby trudons there and then yeah then it just like uh ended with a genie and he like just like uh facing her babies and then it showed like kate and the others then uh uh leaving in the jeep with the uh, with the, uh, with a genie and her baby is like remaining on the island. And then, yeah, then it just, the show then just ended with like Joe and Kate and the others just driving off in the Jeep and it just faded to black. And yeah, and that's how the show ended. So yeah, so I actually really did enjoy the show. Like I said, it was cool seeing like these dinosaurs on stage and yeah, and the story that this, uh, show told, like it really did uh, like, uh, have like a pretty good story. I liked how they really decided to do something different rather than actually like just having it be like a, uh, st a live stage performance of the movie. I liked that they really decided to do something different. They ha like had this be like a totally different story, like set after the events of the movie. And it really did tell like a pretty good story. And yeah, and it did have like some cool, like uh, moments with the dinosaurs attacking people too. Like I didn't talk about it, but yeah, it did have like some cool moments with uh, dinosaurs actually attacking and killing people. Like there was one point where like, one of the velociraptors was, like, in a cage, and then, like, during, like, one of the, uh, confrontations with, like, the mercenaries, like, one of the mercenaries ended up, like, running in the cage, not knowing that the velociraptor was in there, and, yeah, and you could, and you could probably guess, like, what happened after that, like, like, uh, you just, like, it showed, like, the cage shaking, so, so, yeah, so you knew what happened in there, yeah, and, yeah, and you did have, like, have some points with, like, a genie, like, attacking some people, and other velociraptors attacking people, like, uh, the T-Rex, I don't remember actually, like, uh, attacking or eating anything, and, but, yeah, it was still cool to see the T-Rex, yeah, and, yeah, and even, like, a uh, Dr., uh, like, uh, yeah, Dr., uh, Walker herself, like, yeah, she was actually, like, like, like a really good fighter like they were saying something about like her apparently like having some experience in fighting or whatever yeah and she 
Like, in the confrontations with the uh, mercenaries, like, she really, like, really did, like, uh, put up good fights against them. Like, she did beat people up. So, yeah, so, kind of cool that they made, like, the main character, who's a female, be, like, a good fighting character like that. Yeah. So, yeah, so this show really did, like, have a lot of good things about it. Yeah, and I really did enjoy it. So, yeah, so I really would recommend this show to people. Like, if the show ever ends up, like, coming to wherever you live, like, if it ever ends up coming to your town, go see it. It really is, like, a really good show. Like, if you got kids, they would like it, and yeah. And it really is just, like, a really good show to see live. So, yeah, so if it ever comes to your town, if you get a chance to see it, go see it. Especially, like, if you have seen the movies. Like, yeah, this really is just, like, a really enjoyable show to see live, and I would recommend it. So, yeah, so I really did like the show a lot, yeah. And I wonder if, like, they ever are actually going to, like, a... Like, uh, do something to actually, like, uh, have this, like, be, like, a, uh, like, actually go ever going to, like, uh, have this be, like, some sort of, like, a film to, like, uh, ever, like, uh, see just on the TV. Like, ever just see on TV. Like, uh, they've done that before with, like, some live shows where, like, they actually make, like, a, um, a film of it and they make it able to, like, uh, watch on TV. So I don't know if they will ever do that and release it on, like, a streaming platform like Netflix or HBO Max or anything like that. So, yeah, so I guess only time will tell if we'll ever get, like, a film version of it like that. Or I don't, I guess I really shouldn't say a film, but, like, yeah, like a, a Jurassic World special with this story, if they'll ever, like, uh, do that and, like, uh, put it on a streaming service. I guess only time will tell for that. But yeah, but I definitely really did enjoy the show, and yeah, and it really was like a pretty good uh, show to see live. So yeah, so like I said, if you ever get a chance to ever see the show when it, it does uh, come to your town, because yeah, I think it, it is like uh, this tour is really going to go on for like the entire year, and I think it's probably still going to like, uh, there'll be more tours for this show in coming year since like it's apparently been going on since 2019. So yeah, so if you ever get a chance to actually see the show live, I do recommend going to see it because it is like a really nice show and it is really cool to just see the dinosaurs live in person. So yeah. So yeah. So I don't really know what else I can really say about it. So yeah. So yeah. So my verdict is good show and highly recommended. All right. So yeah. So I guess that's all I really have to say about it. All right. So those are my thoughts on the Jurassic World live tour shows live tour show so yeah so i hope you guys enjoy what i had to say about it yeah and stay tuned as i got more stuff coming up like uh we're nearing the end of july so yeah so august is coming up and SummerSlam is like like uh, coming i believe it's next saturday that SummerSlam is so yeah so probably in the coming week probably like when it does become august i'll probably make one or two uh retro SummerSlam reviews here's it was in honor of SummerSlam next weekend so yeah so that's going to be coming up up sometime later this week, like I said, after it, like, uh, becomes August, so, yeah, so I may make, like, another video or two while it's still July for the next, for the couple more days that July is, so, yeah, but, yeah, so stay tuned for, like, some more stuff coming up, all right, but I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about this, so, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.